It's day 18 and I am so excited my husband has returned from his deployment. This deserves a happy dance. Yeah, but now I am left with this in the laundry room and I'd love to shut the door and make it go away, but I don't have a magical fairy to come do my laundry, so we all just have to pitch in and get the laundry done. Other than times like these, when I have a lot of laundry to do, I like to do laundry a little bit every day during the week. That way I don't have a big giant laundry day to deal with. Take this into consideration when washing uniforms. Don't use detergents that have an optical brightener. This can cause working or combat uniforms to be more visible at night. So you wanna try and stay away from products that say bleach alternative or color safe bleach because those products, those ingredients actually whiten and brighten. So I like to wash the uniforms separately just in case dyes from other garments bleed onto them. You don't want to be walking around with pinkish smoke cam. So I fold or I hang them right, right, right when they come out of the dryer. For our civilian clothes and our sports uniforms, I also use a little bit of borax and washing soda. I think it really gets them clean. I've noticed there's a direct connection between how my laundry room is decorated and my laundry situation. If you decorate your laundry room, chances are you'll get a handle on your laundry and not let it pile up. Try to fold your laundry right when it comes out of the dryer. I like to fold the laundry when it's still warm and then I put it away right away. That way there's not a lot of clothes hanging around which just adds to more clutter. Day 19 will make the laundry room both beautiful and functional and we're going to create a double duty laundry room slash command center. So thank you again for watching. Please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. As always we appreciate the love and leave us a comment, like, and share. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks again.